Perfect. What's up everyone, this is Bill. Uh, today I'm going to show you some stuff on the Power Commander 5. Uh, obviously this is on my 2018 Honda Grom, uh, Gromzilla. If you guys follow the channel, you've seen the build. Uh, it's running all of Pi DinoJet software. So it's got Power Commander 5, Wideband 2 with Auto-Tune, and it also has the Pod 300, so I can adjust Lambda values in the lower uh, 0 to 60 range. Okay, so what I'm going to show you today and what we're talking about is the Rev Extend. Okay, and then setting up your map so you can match those revs. So if you've downloaded a map, uh, such as I have, um, you could, you know, most likely with the bike being stock, it's only going to go to 9250. Maybe it'll go to 9500 in on your tables here. So on your little chart. Okay. So you can see here, if we zoom in here, my tables down here go down to 10,250 RPMs. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get that onto here. And we'll be using the PowerCore software, the C3 software. Um, you can load your map into there and you can set these values. And then once you type in some information in the line, in the column, like your target air fuel ratio, for example. So if we go to target air fuel ratio, you can see here 10,250 RPMs. I'm at 12.9 for my air to fuel ratio all the way out at 80 and 100% throttle. Okay, so that's what you need to enter into the C3 software. So now if we go to Power Commander Tools and we go to Configure, then we can go Feature Enables. Okay, and then we have our Rev Extend which will give you 500 extra RPMs. So if this stock, the bike revs out at 9,200 RPMs. If you turn on the rev extend and your map only says 9,250, you cannot adjust it in the 9,500. Your new rev limiter is going to be 9,700 if you added 500 RPMs. Well, you don't have the 9,700 showing up down here. So I'm going to show you how to get that. And then obviously you can go into rev extend and you can go to configure and you'll see mine's going to look a little different. I requested some codes so you can get codes from power commander or from dino jet. All you have to do is contact them, tell them what codes you want. Those codes are reusable. And if you request that they are, I requested that they're reusable and they are only for my power commander five. So they work with my serial number. So we can paste a code right in here and change the value of the rev extend. So stock, the value of the rev extend is 90 is 500 RPMs. But I can show you here. We close out of this. Let's see if we can. Oh, it's not gonna last. Okay. Cancel. Okay, so I'll show you. We go to the documents here. Make this smaller. Okay, so now if we go to documents and we go to Power Commander 5, Rev Extend Codes. Okay. So let's go back over here. Okay. So you can see I have 100 all the way to 1,000 codes from Power Command from Dino Jet. So I can change my rev extend value. So for example, it's 9,200 stock. If I have the rev extend at 1,000, I have now turned the RPM rev limiter on the bike up to 10,200. Okay, and obviously I have a big bore kit and all that, so it takes quite a bit to make it to where it can handle that and be safe. So say we go with 700. Okay, we'll open this text document, and we can copy the code. 
So now we can go copy. Okay, I'm gonna exit off that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So 700. So if we add 700 to the bike, 9,200 stock, we're putting it at 9,900 RPMs. So let's go to load a map. Let's go to open the map. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Maps and Power Commander 5 right out of the box. Okay, we'll open this map. Okay, this is how I bought the Power Commander 5 from Hard Racing. Obviously, you see it's 13.2. As you can see, 9,500 is where it stops. Okay, let's see here. Ninety five hundred RPMs. Okay, so that is our max where we can make adjustments on our target air to fuel ratio. So if we go to Power Commander Tools, configure, feature enables. Okay, we turn the rev extend on and we want to set our rev extend. Let's put our code in. Okay. It was at 9,500, load the key. There you go, 9,900 RPMs is what it's saying. Rev limiter is now set to 9,900. Okay, let's now hit close. Okay, so I'll show you that again. Go to configure, 9,900 RPMs. Okay, we're gonna hit okay. It's gonna add that value to the Power Commander 5. Okay, now rev limiter is set to 9,900 RPMs. As you can see here, at 9,500 is where our cap is. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to exit off of the Power Commander 5 software. And we're going to go over here, DinoJet Power Core. You can download Power Commander 5 and the DinoJet Power Core software straight from the website for free. Okay, give it a second, we'll let that load. Okay, so once you open the DinoJet PowerCore software, you'll see this pop up, and then it should show you a list of applications. Um, I have everything installed, so our applications are gonna be the C3 tuning software, the WinPEP 8 data center, WinPEP 8 Dino Control, and the pod 300 device manager okay and what we're going to be looking at is the c3 tuning software so we're going to double click on that we're going to let that open up it will blow it up full screen here okay now you can go over here it obviously shows your map it says ready down at the bottom uh c3 device network connected one c3d Device is connected. Now I don't have the bike on. That's why none of this is showing the uh, uh, Wideband 2 Because uh, I have the bike turned off and I want to kill the battery Okay, so then we can go right here and we can see uh, Our target air to fuel ratios Okay, and as you can see Our rev limiter only goes to 9500 Okay, so to fix that and to send that to your map, what you're going to do is up here in the very top hand corner here. Okay, you're going to go to maps and you're going to go to advance demote. Okay, and it's opening this little tab and you're going to go over to advanced and then down here at the bottom you will see your max RPM. This does not change the max RPM on the bike itself. What this changes is the, the grid that you are looking at. So this makes it so you can adjust beyond 9,500. So we set our rev limiter to 9,900 RPMs. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna change this to 10,000. One, zero, 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 zero. Now this is also where you can change the increments. So you can see here I have the 250 set up. Oh really. 
Sorry about that. You see here I have the 250 set up. You can also switch it to 500. This will give you increments of 500. So for example, 7250, 7500 RPM, it would go 7000 to 7500. Okay, we're gonna leave it at 250. And we are gonna hit apply. Okay, changes are being applied to the solution. Okay, now, one thing you wanna make sure you do we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna go back and do this again. So remember, once this C3 is loaded up, you're gonna to go to advanced demote. You're gonna to go to advanced. And this is gonna be all within the maps tab, okay? So you're gonna set it to 10,000, okay? And you're gonna hit apply. And you're gonna go okay. Now you're gonna go target air to fuel ratio. You want to slide before we exit out of the C3. Slide all the way down. Now you can see we have 9250, 9500, 9750, 10,000 RPM. We're going to make an adjustment right here. This will make sure because sometimes and when you go back to the Power Commander 5, this won't show up even after you've saved it and sent it to the bike and everything. So you make an adjustment here. So we'll say 13. Point two, just like everything else is. We can actually go like this. 13.2. Actually, let's change these guys. 13. Okay, so now we've made changes down here, and it's going to save those changes which will make it so our map is now going to show up at a 10,000 RPM range in our grid, which we can adjust. So we're going to go over here to home. We're going to go to send. Okay. Solution sent successfully. We can now exit out of the C3 software. Okay. We can exit off of this bar. We can now go load Power Commander 5. Now remember, these two apps do not play together nicely. So, for example, if you have the C3 open in the background and you try to open the Power Commander 5, it's not going to read the device. It's always going to go to the C3 app instead. So it's going to show that you don't have a device connected. You need to close out of the C3 software completely. So now you can see we'll go get map. So we're, it, it got it automatically, but we're going to get the map. And then we're going to go up here to our target air fuel ratio. And as you can see now on the map, we have a 10,000 RPM range in our grid. And then obviously if we go back to our Power Commander tools and go to configure feature enables and input selections, and we go to Rev Extend and Configure. We have now set it to 9,900 RPMs and we can make adjustments all the way out to 10,000. And you can do this for any number. So if you wanted to set your rev limiter on your vehicle, your, on your motorcycle, um, obviously this will work anytime you're using Power Commander 5. So not just for the Honda Grom. This can be applied anywhere. You could set it to 12,000, 15,000 RPMs. As long as you have the code from Power Commander, from DinoJet, and all you got to do is request it. I requested 10 codes, and they sent it to me within 40 minutes. I requested a code to set it from 100 over all the way out to 1,000 over. They sent me 10 separate codes. I copied them and pasted them over here into a file so I can just literally copy and paste. Okay. So now I hit OK. So there you go. I wanted to show this because I can't find this on YouTube. This is something that I have spent time emailing back and forth to DinoJet, talking with them on the phone. Obviously, we're going to be turboing the Grom. We want it to work. We want it to run correctly. We needed to be able to do all this kind of stuff to be able to run the Power Commander 5 with a turbo kit and a big bore kit and be able to hop on the dyno and be able to really romp on the bike and not break nothing. 
and we need to be able to make these fine tune adjustments up high in the RPM range. Okay, so if you're wondering, my Honda Grom rev limiter is normally set to 10,200 RPMs. It's on a 181 Takagawa big board kit. And it has a uh, custom head from Vinny's Custom Shop out in New Jersey. It's on the Koso camshaft. So it can really rev out there high, probably higher than 10.2. But that's where I'm leaving it for now until we get it on a dyno. Okay, but anyway, I hope this helps someone out. Go back, pause it, watch the information. It, this, is, this can be very helpful if you're trying to build your own map and you can't figure out how you're going to get this past that 9,500 mark. You need to make adjustments up high. This is how you do it. Okay, you're using the C3 app. Uh, there's Obviously, you can go to Power Commander's website and download them. I will try and leave the links in the description to go download the Power, the Power Core software as well as Power Commander 5 software for you. So anyways, I hope this really helps someone out. Please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm doing a lot of the stuff with DinoJet directly. Uh, they're helping me build a map for the bike. So it'll be cool to see how this plays out. And you will definitely be seeing the bike on the dyno here shortly. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, turn on that bell icon. So you get the notifications when I'm up on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Perfect.